And in this case, we got the craziness with South Park predicting what happens with all this woke garbage in their parody. So look at this. We got them having Cartman talking about using the bathroom. I want to know just what makes you think it's okay to go inside the girl's bathroom. Because I'm transgender. I looked it up. That means I can use the girl's shitter. You are not transgender, Eric. You don't even know what that means. Yeah, huh? It means I live a life of torture and confusion because society sees me as a boy, but I'm really a girl. All right. Well, if you identify yourself as a girl, you must find yourself attracted to boys. Is that right? That's actually not true. I can be transgender without it having anything to do with the gender I'm attracted to. Check the state bylaws. All right. Listen, Eric. Erica. Listen, Eric. <laughs> Bro. You must know why we can't have you in the girls' bathroom. All I know is I'm transgender, and you can't make me go to the bathroom with the cisgenders. With the what? Cisgender. It's the politically correct name for people who aren't transgender. If you identify with the sex you were born with, then you're cis. But then cisgender is just normal. Saying normal is extremely offensive to people who aren't in that group. Trust me, you don't want this hot potato. Just let them use the girls' room. But this isn't a hurting, confused child we're talking about. This is Eric Cartman. Nobody else is going to know that. You better just give him what he wants. So Eric Cartman just has us in some kind of bathroom checkmate? Actually, it's more like a royal flush. I wasn't ready for the royal flush line. That was pretty amazing. All right. So uh, the point is... You have the culture following up with parody. You see like the Babylon B saying shit. And then a year later it comes true directly. And then you have South Park saying stuff. And then not that much longer, the crazy stuff from there is reality today. All right. Well, here is a, an over under meme of South Park versus reality. And this is insane. The Olympics competition, men and women's sports. Hey, you. I've won. I'm a strong woman. Look at it. It's mine. I'm the best. This is insane. Holy crap, guys. Like what? Who was ready for that? They had like the macho man, transgender woman parody competing in boxing. It's a macho man in a sports bra whooping that ass. And then we get the, the Olympics has actually allowed men to compete at the Olympic level against women. And they're like, well, they identify as fuck you, man. No. It's a dude with a dick and testosterone. No, it's a guy beating up a woman and getting a medal for it. We have lost the plot and we've lost, I guess, the balls to talk about it, to, to tell people this is wrong. Us being able to just call a spade a spade. And in this video, I think the CIA knew that I was going to call a spade a spade. It's going to get very offensive to a lot of different groups, and I don't care. So we're going to do that, um, but I'm going to – I'm just importing your chat here so I can see since this is definitely working now. All right, now we're good because it's gone too far, and they are, they're trying to make you afraid to say the truth to say objective reality because they will weaponize truth against you and kind of fuck up your whole life. Okay. That's kind of the whole point. And because we're not able, we're too afraid to push back. It's come this far. You will only get to what you put up with. And right now they're experimenting on our children in the name of public safety. Okay. That's what it leads to. So it starts with, we're trying to protect one person's feelings and then it gets used to bring in more power and less freedom for you. Okay. It's all bad. 
it's all bad. But yeah, that that is a direct correlation. That's what that leads to. So, you know, it's really sad that you see here's JK Rowling, well-known transphobe who won't just bend the knee to this garbage. But you can see her say, watch this. And then explain why you're okay with a man beating a woman in public for your entertainment. This isn't sport. From the bullying cheat in red all the way up to the organizers who allowed this to happen, this is men revealing in their power over women. Reveling in their power over women. Solid straight right hand. From... Like the, she took that punch. It came in way faster than she was ready for way harder than she was ready for. And she's like, no, bro, I can't do this. Now you got Tate saying, why are you, why are you admitting men are better than women at certain things? MPs stood in parliament and called me a misogynist who should be banned from the internet for saying this. See, this is a problem because you have the feminazis who pushed for this and said, straight faced, we're as strong as you, we're as fast as you, we're as agile as you, we're blah, blah, blah. And so they said, a man cannot beat a woman in a fair fight. We're just as strong. We're just as fast. We're just as athletic, blah, blah. And so I don't like this because it becomes this like kind of shitting on women thing. And I'm just like, women are different than men and we have different functions in the reality of the world, okay? A guy can't have a child. A guy cannot grow a child, birth a child, nurture a child. Anatomically, we are different. And our bodies are meant to be different. And it's we try to be as fair as possible, but there's no way we'll ever be equal because we're not the same. Fair and equal are different. So we should be fair to women. And that's why women get their own spaces and their own leagues for competition. So they can have a fair competition. They want equality. Well, then you see what happens with equality. The guys smash in their orbital sockets because their hands are, their bones are denser. Hands are bigger. The amount of muscle mass per pound is way radically different. Anatomy and biology of men versus women. So it's annoying, but this is where we've come to at this point. Music lover, men are not built like, women are not built like men, plain and simple. We're different and meant to com complement each other in many ways. Yeah, exactly. Stephen says, Jeff, we also have had testosterone cycling through our bodies for decades. Fake women only had a short duration of fake testosterone. Well, yeah, as far as bringing the numbers down. So they went through puberty and gained the muscle mass of a man with testosterone. They had their bones um, get dense from testosterone. Right. It's, it's just stupid. The whole thing is stupid. But we have to go over it a little bit so that we can make these conversations and get all of the people who are normal on board. Because like you can action. see, this is what's happening to these poor women. I mean, you could, you could see slowed down the speed difference in the strike. She's going for a strike. His strike's already coming in. Square on the chin really hard. And you see this poor lady from Italy. Female boxer quits the Olympic bout against a biological male opponent and breaks down in floods of tears after brutal 46 seconds. Imagine 46 seconds. You get to go for a dream at the Olympics. You have trained your whole life for this. And now all of a sudden you're fighting basically a different species, dude. Like to have a woman fighting a man, it's like me fighting a gorilla. You know what I'm saying? It's like not the same thing. You can't do it. Yeah, I saw the pat on the back with the little smirk. Like, ha, ha, ha. Look at me. I'm great. Look what I got to do. So the shit's, the shit's infuriating. I'm being 100% real. And the Hodge twins, they're in it too. Says, 
vote for Trump if you want this to stop. You can see this dude. Look at we're going to the beginning so you can see. This is the the chick. This is a fake chick. It, they, he didn't even try. Zero percent try. And some quick replays of the very short lived action in the women's world to wait bout there between Angela Carini and Iman Khalif. Iman Khalif taking the win. Carini choosing to abandon the bout. And I, I will always cover that because I have five kids and three of them are daughters. And I have athletic kids. They play outside all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? So they talk about wanting to compete in sports ever, potentially. And I don't want my little girls to be playing against dudes in sport. It just shouldn't be the case. Yeah, if I had the gorilla suit, I could probably win against a gorilla. Just the power of primate. I bring it on. Yeah, he's not even trying to look female. Like, it's 0%. That transition game is lacking like a mofo. All right, Rumble. Rumble gods, we're going to give them a plug here. I love you. Do better. You guys can do it. Make sure to download the Rumble app. Once you download it, search for my channel. Thoughtcast, the app is free. Okay. Follow the channel directly on the app. This will make sure you get a notification every time we go live. Click the link in the description or pin live chat to download the Rumble app on your phone. It's free. Thank you for watching this clip with the Thoughtcast. Catch us live on Rumble, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday. And if you want to hang out with the Freethinkers Rebellion, you can check the gaming channel as well.